I woke up this morning in a ton of discomfort. No, I wasn't wet, but I was hot. Very hot. I felt like I was on fire. I couldn't stop tossing around and whimpering a lot. I heard the door open and someone rushed in. It's okay Novi, daddy's here. I knew right then it was Freddy. I felt him lift me from the crib and cradle me in his arms. This isn't good, you're burning up. Judging by the rate of his steps, he was running. The next conversation went by really quickly and I was disoriented, so I can't remember who said what. Guys I need your help. What's wrong? Novi is burning up. I think she's sick. What? What do we do to help her? I don't know. Maybe it's just a 24 hour bug? Holy shnovi just shrunk in your arms. How is that possible? I didn't regress her again. I didn't either. And the rest of us didn't. Fredbo will know what to do. Should we though? It's been a while since he's had any contact with children. We gotta do it. We need to help Novi. Alright. I'll go see him myself. After that I could feel myself be carried somewhere else very fast. I was held tightly to keep from slipping out, but it added to my pain. Then the running stopped and was replaced with frantic yelling. Fredba. Please come out. The yelling hurt my ears and I whimpered some more. She's at the newborn state now, if this continues. Oh god please save her. Then I heard a new voice. A deep and southern one it sounded. Here I am. What's wrong brother? It's Novi. She's sick and I need your help. I felt a soft paw turn me upright. I opened my eyes to see a bear, with golden fur, but my head hurt too much to keep looking. You regressed her didn't you? You could have killed her. Your powers of regression are too strong to use on anyone under the age of 50 yet. I just wanted to give her a new life. I didn't even start the process until she was happy with living with us. I didn't know this was gonna happen. You're saying this happened because she wanted it? There was a dead silence for several minutes. Nonetheless, she needs to be returned to actual age as soon as possible or she'll be unborn. I felt myself be lifted up again and held tightly. Don't worry my brother, I'll heal her. I felt myself be laid down on a soft cushion and undressed, then furry fingers placed over my head and heart. Pardon me miss, but when I'm finished you'll be far too big for those. Just try to relax, and I'll make this as painless as possible okay? At first I felt a cooling sensation, felt much better after being hot for a long time. Then the pain subsided enough for me to finally relax. Good, we got past the danger point, now to take it the rest of the way. I guess I fell asleep again because I don't remember a lot after that. I felt myself being redressed, and I heard a soft humming, but I don't remember anything between that and waking up in the security office chair. I found myself back to my normal size, and in my normal clothes. Freddy sat across from me, kneeling, drawing in the dust on the floor, and I faintly heard him crying. Freddy? He looked up at me completely shocked. Thank goodness you're finally awake. He let out a relieved sigh. My little one. I never meant to make you sick. I just wanted someone to hold, to love, to protect. I had the chance to give you a new and better life. And I'd finally have a child of my own that I've always wanted. I'm sorry. Can you ever forgive this selfish bear? I remember him saying that in the text file. He really wanted someone to take care of. And he chose me of all people. I have to admit. I have been happier since first being diapered by them. Even though I struggled the first two days. Now Freddy was the one crying and feeling guilty for nearly taking it too far. I hopped off the chair and hugged his neck tightly. Please don't feel bad. I'm not upset. I actually don't mind, even as an adult. I looked him in the eye and poured at his fur. Would you still be my daddy, and I'll always be your baby? He looked at me rather surprised. I knew exactly what to say next that would seal the deal. I also, this is embarrassing to admit, but I really need to use a diaper right now. In that case, and he held up a diaper all readied out for me. Lie down please. So I lied down on the floor and he took off my jeans to put on the diaper. Oh, now I really do need to use it. So I swallowed my pride and emptied my bladder. Looks like it's time for a changi. Freddy said excitedly. Wait, not yet please. I stopped him. Can I just be held for a little while first? Of course baby princess. 